kidnapping occurring last night in the basin. How this one is different. A 17-year-old was actually pulled out of her home. Now, Fox 24's Haley Brooks joins us live from that neighborhood, neighborhood in North Odessa. And Haley, what did residents have to say? Horace, neighbors tell me that this area is pretty safe and nothing like this has happened before. Now, the attempted kidnapping happened about 24 hours ago, so we're going to turn the camera light off to give you an idea of how dark it is out here. As you can see, there's no street lights on and there's just a couple of house lights on. Now, the attempted kidnapping happened just at the end of this block, and I spoke to some neighbors today. Here's what they had to say. It's a really quiet neighborhood. We've never had any problems. Families in this neighborhood say it's a safe area. And they would never expect an attempted kidnapping would happen just next door. It's hitting too close to home now. Like, that's right down the street. It makes me nervous. I was telling my husband earlier, I said, well, you know, if somebody owns a gun, a is going to start answering the door with their gun. Monday night, this is where police investigated the attempted kidnapping. Police say a 17-year-old girl answered a knock at the door when a man grabbed her by the arm and dragged her outside. The girl said she heard another man yell, grab her, come on, we have to go. The girl punched the man and they left in a blue Ford truck. A truck one neighbor has seen before. I've been noticing, I think it's the same truck, go up and down with no tags on it, the blue truck. And I thought they looked suspicious when I saw them. Is the blue truck something that you turned into the police? Have you called No, them? because I thought, well, I just seen it a couple of times go down, and they just, I don't know, they just kind of look when they go by. And I, I thought, well, you're trying to put something that's not there. Hope Joy said she will now report everything she sees in an effort to keep a neighborhood full of kids safe. That's so scary. I have three little ones myself, and they'll get in the cars. I'm putting stuff in for school, and... I never would imagine anything like that to happen, but now I'm like, okay, we're, we're all going to go together and nobody's going at a different time anymore. Now, most of the families on this street say that they have security systems, and some are even thinking about adding cameras just for some peace of mind. Horace, back to you.